Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Let's Draw. I'm your host, James, and today we're going to look at something I learned in my one semester at community college, and that's contour line drawing. Basically, you press your pencil against the surface of the paper, and you never, ever lift it while you're drawing. Just draw whatever, a flower. Now, the importance of this lesson is not accuracy. The purpose of this is to find your line. Okay, let me uh, go up here a bit. Okay. Do you get what I mean? You basically want to get into a frame of mind where you're just trusting yourself and you're trusting your pencil. Now I'm going to do a face. Surprise, surprise. I like to draw a lot of people, so. But I found this to be a valuable lesson. I was I was taught by, uh, well, her name was Judith. I can't remember her, her first, her last name right now. But uh, she was definitely right. She was onto something. So I found my line. Now the challenge is to find yours. How are you going to have your own style if you don't know yourself? You're going to just be another Dan Adkins or somebody generic. You're not, but that's not who you are. If you're watching this channel, you probably aren't a jobber, you know? Okay. There's another one. <clears throat> then we'll do a house. Okay. Oh, I have to put a pencil up for more lead. Oh. Sorry about that. The thing holding my camera up is kind of getting in my way. All right. That's not much of a house, but there you go. Let me turn this over here because I'm cheap. I don't want to save on paper. And we'll do another face, but this time we'll start in the middle with the nose. And we'll kind of scribble our way around. This is not a technique I usually use. More lead. Feel free to actually pick your pencil up. It's, it's not a big deal. As you've seen, I pick my pencil up quite a bit. But for the most part, just keep it against the paper. Let me adjust the camera here. Stupid shadows. All right, now let's get to the inking stage. Let's turn this blobby face into something rather than, you know, looking at it as kind of a face. All right, I dip in the ink here. This is the Hunt 107 that I opened up a couple nights ago. I'm 
it's no longer a contour line. Just get out of that frame of mind and just trust which lines to keep and which to get rid of. Sometimes you're going to guess wrong as to which lines were the lines you really needed. But mostly, just trust yourself. You know better than those doubts in your head. Give some Paul Popey lips there. Back for more ink. Catch for the side of the neck. There's some lines that aren't even there, but you know where they should be. There's no right way to do it. Just find your own technique. Nobody really draws like Mignola. They try to, but come on, there's really only one Mignola. There's going to be only one me, just because I do things my own way too. I'm not going to, I'm not really saying that I'm like Mignola. I'm not tooting my own horn like that. But as Arn Anderson said, toot, toot. Oh, I forgot the years. So I'll be just like Vignola, except I'll forget to draw the years. That'll be my, uh, my trademark. I'll be the guy that doesn't draw years. All right, there we go. Just a face there. All right, I hope you liked uh, learning from me, and, uh, Leave some comments below, and please press the, uh, the like button, and thank you, and we'll see you next time.